My name is Matt Barnage. I'm a third year assistant professor in the Department of Journalism and Creative Media here at UA. And I'm researching the learning effects of virtual reality news. So how much people learn uh, when immersed in a virtual, re virtual reality environment versus watching that same story in 360 video or text with images format. Because it's a new frontier in news media technology, and I think as the technology becomes more and more accessible, it's going to become more and more popular among especially the most avid news users. Yeah, well, I hope I learn whether people learn from virtual reality. And it could go either way. You know, there are reasons to think people will learn more when they're immersed in this kind of environment because being there is so much more vivid than just looking at it, you know, on a screen and reading some text. The other possibility is that people get distracted. In fact, the first thing that folks often do when they put on the headset is they look around, right? And there's a voiceover and maybe some text, you know, floating in the air, but they may not be paying attention to that because, you know, maybe the virtual reality or the immersive environment is novel to them, they've never done it before, they're not necessarily paying attention, they're looking around, they're distracted. And so it really could go either way. It's sort of an open question. We didn't have a predetermined um, expectation necessarily, but rather competing hypotheses. We thought, okay, on the one hand, people could learn more. On the other hand, they could learn less. We are very interested to know the answer when the study is done. This is sort of a way to stay on the cutting edge in terms of looking at the ways in which news media technologies affect how we understand and process information, what we learn from that information, and then how we act on it as well.